Today's quick tip is Q-Link. So Q-Link is an amazing feature which has been found in the mixer since I think Cubase 7, but certainly came along pretty much with the mix console that was introduced around then. And it is a lifesaver because it allows you to link channels temporarily and alter their settings in concert with each other. So let's take these channels here and do the same thing to them. So previously you would have had to try to retain this curve, etc. But with Q-Link, just turn that on. And now you can see as we move it, they're moving in concert with each other and their relative balances are retained. If we try to go too far, we can't go above. We can go all the way down. What's interesting, if you let go, so I've let go of the mouse and then I put it back on, it remembers that for a short while. So that, that relative balance is, is kept. That's not retained permanently, but it can be useful to know that. This doesn't just work with volume, it works with any of the controls and anything that you do. So if you want to assign this to something else, so let's say we wanted to send all of these to the delay, we just do that. They all get signed at the same time. We can turn them on, maybe make them pre and adjust the level and they all get adjusted together. Now, one useful part of this is keyboard shortcut. So if you hold down the Alt key, you'll see the Q-Link light goes off temporarily and then you can adjust individual parts of tracks, whatever you want to do like that. As soon as I let go, we go back into being able to adjust all of them in Q-Link mode. So that works really nicely. If you just want to tweak something individually, change your balance and then go back into Q-Link mode. Don't forget to turn it off when you're done because otherwise, like anything, it can have an undesirable effect. But Q-Link is definitely the small thing which has saved me months probably of work since it came in because there's just so many things that you don't have to do now in a boring, repetitive manner. So quite often... You can just go to the mixer, highlight the channels you want, turn on Q-Link, and away you go. And that's your quick tip for today. <laughs>